Broop. <laughs> Brilliant, baby. He's always the one to turn the camera on. <laughs> Someone has to do Someone it, to and it. this beautiful lady has to be a princess, <laughs> not do anything. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, baby. You look beautiful. Thank you, baby. So, guys, when it comes to relationships, people are always talking about what is the key to have a healthy, successful, and godly relationship. Mm. And I think through our story, even though we had a beautiful fairy tale beginning, we learned what that key is. Yeah. But before we get into that, we have to paint you the picture. After we left off from last week's video, we had our beautiful romantic getaway in Croatia. We did. But then reality set in, and that is where the story picks up today. Yes. So the, the reality was, I flew, we flew together from Croatia, and our fairy tale, fairy tale in Croatia, I flew to the States for a nine month ministry school. Mm -hmm. Left my job, left my friends, left my family, everything. Your country. My country. <laughs> your nation. My continent. <laughs> yeah, your continent. <laughs> I flew here. And I, it was really stressful. Mm. Uh, First of all, my apartment where I was supposed to be was not working out. It was not working out for me literally and in 24 hours I had to find <laughs> another apartment in a country where I don't know anyone. Yeah. No car, no friends, no family, don't know anyone. Uh, how, do I, how am I supposed to do grocery shopping? Like I didn't know anything, mm -hmm. anything and it's really different than in Europe. Yeah. Uh, and the school started on another language. I had to read books. I had assignments right away. It was overwhelming. It was crazy. Yeah. Kayla had a crazy, crazy period too in that moment, in that point. Yeah, I had like a crazy summer even <clears throat> before going to Croatia where things were just shifting for me because I was entering my second year into the program. So I already went through my first year. All these amazing opportunities were being placed on my lap but I had to really figure out with the Lord, like what do I actually need to be doing in this season? But it was still stressful learning how to say no. I was moving yeah. to a new apartment, yeah. literally. It was like I moved to a new apartment, had a conference for school, and then I went to Croatia and then had to come back after Croatia and start school. Yeah. So it was like everything like back to back to back. Yeah. I am a person of organization. I like things to be organized. And I did not have that opportunity at all. My life was in shambles. Yeah starting second year it's just more responsibilities and then of course i have this amazing man here and i was trying to balance yeah that's you <laughs> i had to balance like okay this is a new season in my yeah. life but then i'm also embarking on one of the craziest years of my yeah. life in school as well yeah and it's so hard. basically all of that led led us to feel disconnected discontent off we were just everything was it was really hard. Ooh, it was just really, really hard. It was when life life hits you. So I felt as Kayla was like not loving mm -hmm. and giving as usual. I felt she was distant. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel the connection we had mm -hmm. before. And you were at that moment also feeling a lot of things. Oh my gosh. Like again, if you could sum up a person's craziest season of life, like it was pretty much this yeah. past September. And like Mate was saying, like I just had like this, I literally can feel it and like remember feeling like this icky feeling where although I was having the best time of my life yeah. and the fact that I finally met the love of my life and I'm in this amazing school with amazing friends, but I felt this feeling like something just wasn't right. And it was because of this feeling like things were just yeah. not in the right place. Yeah, yeah. And it was really, yeah, yeah. and it, yeah, it was just hard. Yeah. Even like my relationship with the Lord fell off, yeah. but that was due to a different reason. So it was just like, I had no stability aside mm -hmm. from our relationship. But even that, like Mate said, wasn't as it was before because we had a beautiful fairy tale. We romance, did, we did. But it was like reality set in. Yeah. So what saved us from this slump? Yeah, it was Finally. a slump. Finally, it was, it a, was slump. a slump. Yeah. We we don't want to say communication. We want to say over communication and over communicating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. every single yeah. detail in our hearts. Mm -hmm. uh, and we want to say to everyone something that 
I don't want to say saved us. We were not falling apart. No. But something that helped us a lot mm -hmm. and is still helping us every day is we had a deal mm -hmm. that we will over communicate every single thing in our hearts and we will not allow anything to settle in our hearts to even go to sleep without unresolved mm -hmm. issues because we don't want to yeah. build up things at the beginning yeah. and then later in half year, two years, right. three years, they come up to the surface. We, we told each other, let's go straight to the point immediately while those things are still small and not a big issue. Yeah, so it's like the second we feel anything that's off, that's what we do. Cause yeah. like, as Mate was saying, like why do we have to three years down in a relationship yeah. or a marriage, go to counseling because things weren't set up in the beginning. Yes, of course, all that is fine, yeah. but like why not start with a strong yeah. foundation and not hold on to anything because if you hold on to these things, they eventually become bigger issues. So we've been like super, super yeah. um, adamant about that. And one quick, quick thing I'll say is in addition to over communicating, each of us has to be mature. We have to die to ourselves to hear the other person out and to create a safe place yeah. where they can vocalize their feelings. Yeah, feeling safe is also really important because when I feel safe with her, or she feels safe with me, mm -hmm. then I feel safe that I can communicate literally yeah. every single thing. No matter how stupid, no yeah. matter how small or big or embarrassed mm -hmm. or whatever it is, mm -hmm. I communicate it to right. her, she communicates it to me. Yeah. Which leads us, guys. We actually have a very, this is a real, a real yeah. discussion that we had during this, during this time that we are actually going to pretty much act it out so you can see what that looks like. Yeah. What does this over communication look like? Yeah. I remember we were sitting in a car. We were sitting in a car and I literally did this. I hold her hand. Baby. Babes. I I don't feel loved as much as I did before. I feel you are putting th other things in front of me. I don't feel as a priority in your life. I feel distant and I don't feel as much connected. I often feel that you're focused more on other things then you're focused on me and on our relationship. What a glorious start, folks. Right at the beginning of the game, Mate did two crucial things mm. that will direct the course of the whole game. Wow. I know, right? One, there is physical connection. Mm -hmm. And two, he used I feel statements not to place blame on the other person. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let's zoom in on Kayla right now. Right here, we see a beautiful technique called listening. Wow. 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 Kayla is not preparing her defense but she's actually listening to how Mate is feeling. Mm. Let's jump back to the clip, people. Thank you for sharing that. Mm. I'm really sorry, babe. I don't want you to feel like that. Um, right now, we see another incredible move from Kayla. She's validating and acknowledging Mate's feelings. <laughs> she's not using any defense techniques. Whoa, that's amazing. Whoa. I am not used to this. You know me, I like to be organized and I'm go, go, go and I'm very task oriented that I've been struggling with knowing how to still give you attention while managing everything else, but I don't want you to feel like this. Wow, look at that. Kayla is actually being honest and vulnerable. She is sharing where she's coming from without diminishing Mate's feelings. Mm. That's crazy, folks. And I'm really going to try to make you feel like you're a priority. I'm really going to make an effort to put these things aside so I can focus on you. Wow. I have never seen this play ever before in my life. Kayla is actually going to do something about it. She heard him, understood him, and now she'll do something about it. Whoa, but I want you to know that I love you. You are a priority to me. 
What a smart move from Kayla. She is debunking the lie and revealing the truth. What a move. What a move. And I really want you to feel connected to me again, so I'm sorry. I don't want you to feel like that. I love you. I love you so much. Yeah. What a beautiful finish, people. We can see all the players hugging out there on the field. No regrets, no hard feelings, and this is why we love this sport. Guys, that's real. Like, that is real. It was literally... We didn't make that up. No. That was the legit conversation that we had. Yeah. And this is proof that communicating doesn't have to be scary. Sometimes the enemy lies to us and say, Sat, like tells us, like, oh, don't say anything. You're just going to seem crazy. But mm -hmm. that not only solves lie. the issues that we're going through, but it forms an even greater and deeper bond between each other because we're able to see, like you said earlier, that we have a safe place and we can bring anything, no matter how big or how small. Yeah. And we've grown And so we all use the quote Oh, the most used quote in the Bible is do not be afraid and we use it in our life in general like whatever don't mm -hmm. be afraid but don't be afraid to share your heart mm -hmm. with your person don't be afraid yeah. it's scary it's yeah. awkward it's vulnerable it's not nice it's not pleasant mm -hmm. but do not be afraid That's because so when you open up the doors of your heart and you let the other person in just to see what's in your heart where are you coming from it will bond you and bring you together like nothing else like nothing else That's it okay. was it was yeah it was an amazing moment for us and since then we're literally over communicating everything in our hearts mm -hmm. immediately and that's why I would say a lot of you are telling us, oh, you look so in love, you look mm -hmm. so beautiful and giggly, what would, what, uh, what giddy. are you? Giddy, giddy, thank you. That's exactly <laughs> what I mean. But actually this is one of the things why. Yeah. Because literally no resentment, no mm -hmm. like nothing, we're not building anything toward each other in our hearts. Wow, I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, guys, so we impart this to you that you can carry this on to either a current relationship that you're in, a future relationship, even a relationship with your friends, your parents, anyone. Over communicating is always a smart idea, and we hope that you really take that away. Yeah. And we cannot wait for next week's video. Next week's video. We really want you guys to tune in because, again, we're telling you the story of us. And there is a really, really, really important thing that we realized in the engagement season that yeah. we want to share with you guys. We want to share with you. And it's not what you think. It's not the cliche, you know, we're planning a wedding. It's not. So yeah. tune in for that. Guys, we bless you. We love, we you. love you. And we pray for you every night. We love Bye. you.